this is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. Hey, everybody. Hey, I'm glad you're back. And I hope you're still staying safe, staying in prayer, staying at home, praying for all of us out here. We see that the death toll is rising. Uh, the number of cases, at least in New York, is starting to flatten and some of the other areas as well. So we just keep keep the prayer up, keep the prayer up. Because there's some people doing some battle right now because for their life uh, concerning this pestilence. And, and this is what you can do is pray. Unless you're a doctor, unless you're a nurse, unless you're in the medical staff, unless you're one of the first responders, unless you're working in a hospital, all you can do is pray. So pray, saints. Keep praying for this thing to end. Amen? And, and, and then as far as we're coming up on Easter Sunday, and the fact is, just remember that what he did for us, the blood shed on Calvary, he died and he rose again. And the point is that he did not die in vain because we are the church. And as a church, we're going to do our part. We're going to pray for one another. Amen. Just pray for one another and believe in God, the power of God, to be the one that gives the deliverance. Pray for the comfort of those who lost their loved ones. Pray for all the anxiety that's going on in this world. With the economy, people lining up, fouling for, what, we've got six million or so, or more, uh, fouling for unemployment. I mean, just it's, it's a lot of stress that's going on. And that's why we need one another, the believers, to pray. And I just want those that don't believe, just have those happy thoughts. Have those happy thoughts that we're going to get through this. And all I mean is that we, we still, there's work that goes behind our prayer. I mean, in fact, there's the things that we need you to do. But right now, one of the things we need to do is stay home because we got to get this pestle under control. And then when this pestle comes in control, when we get that under control, then we go out. And we gotta get this economy going back together again. We gotta get people working again. And we gotta just, just continue to be a strong nation, amen? Pray for our leadership. Pray for the president. Pray for the governors and, and the mayors. Pray for the leadership that we have elected. Pray and trust God, amen? One of the things we did in part B is the fact that we want you to focus on the fact is we need to learn to hear from God. We have been designed and been positioned to hear from God. Right now, we're on a battlefield. I mean, if you may not understand that, I know why you know that people want to go back to the four walls and, and the building. But, but right now, we're scattered and we're positioned on the battlefield. So we go back to the church for to get to huddle. We go back to church to get equipped. And then we go out on the battlefield. Was using an analogy, and you see in the video, the fact is that in the military, we, we, we get weapons qualified. Amen. That's the word qualified. Uh, we get we get we, we we put on our spirit put on our spiritual armor. Amen. So we can we can put on that gas mask. Amen. Like you know, in the military, we put a gas mask on when when we go into a hazardous area. Well, we put on the whole armor of God, <laughs> and we sit there and go on that battlefield with our gas mask on, meaning for that COVID-19, uh -uh, the spirit, the helmet is on us, the helmet of salvation, amen? So I want you to remember, learn to hear from God and understand this, it is His words. I remember one scripture that said, says, speak the word only. That was the centurion told Jesus, speak the word only. Because your word has authority, your word has the power. Speak the word only, not your words, but His words. And, 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 and trust and, and recognize this power in the Word of God. We sit there, one of the scriptures we did today uh, that I wanted to, I had a friend I was talking about today, we used John 4, 24, God is the Spirit. And they who worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. And we also talk about in Hebrews 11, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We see what's on the battlefield. But we also, there's a spiritual plane out there. And we need to 
understand and operate in the spirit. And our, what we do, we believe in faith and we see the victory in faith. Amen. But the scripture said Hebrews 11, 6, it said, Without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So while we're at home, diligently seek the Lord. Pray for the other believers. Pray for your family. And I want you to pray for me and I'll pray for you. We'll pray for victory. We'll pray for deliverance. We'll pray for healing. We'll lift those first responders. We'll lift up those people that's, that's operating those grocery stores. We'll lift them those up in prayer to respond first responders, the people that's in the fast food places, the people that's feeding us. We, we lift up in prayer those who have to go out daily to work in this environment. While some of us just stay home, but your job is to pray, and we got a victory in Jesus' name. So, I hope you enjoy part B, and remember, it's all about hearing. My mom and I talked the other day, and we said this. I'll think about a new title I want to try, and we'll see if we can get it in there. Not in this one, but the uh, couple of Sundays, is I want you to pray, but if possible, do more listening than speaking. Prayer is a two-way communication between you and God. And maybe it's time for us to sit there, speak what we have to speak, and listen. Because those who are the children of God are led by the Spirit of God. So, listen. This is a time where we are listening. This is a time where we all listen. And our prayer, make it a two-way conversation. Hear from God. And by faith, you hear from Him. Not by these physical ears, but your spirit. Amen. All right. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's the whole focus. You are on the battlefield right now. And I know some of us want to go run back to the four buildings. Hey, to go to the four buildings to get qualified. The whole purpose of the ministry the five-fold ministry gift is the equip the saints to do the work of the ministry. You have now been spiritually qualified. Just like I've been weapons qualified, you've been word qualified. And now it's time to go on that battlefield. Let me tell you something. If you didn't qualify too well, well, the battles now, you're going to have to do OJT on the battlefield. Amen? All right. I'll see you later. God bless you. Bye-bye. Another thing, too, is that the, the elder, correct me wrong, uh, when that, that pool of Bethesda, Jesus went to the place where the sick were. Right? Is that true? They, they, they went to where the people were sick, right? Now, now, yeah. and then I know Peter and them, the shadow, the, the people, Peter and them went where the people were sick, right? And they, they were just hoping just by him just passing by that the shadow of a believer would heal their body, right? It's, it's, I'm saying is that if, if you want to exercise your faith, Brother Jackson, then, then, then it's, it's not coming to the four walls, but going out where the front front of the battle is and exercising your faith. If that's what you want to do, I mean, if you want to go that far, then you go where the battle is. Huh? This, this is, you want to lay hands on, you go lay hands on the first responders. You go lay hands, you go follow the ambulance where they're going to. And you go ahead and say, I want to pray for this person right now. Yeah. Right? Not to come to the four hey, walls. Yeah. Pastor Taylor, it's, um, it, the, 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 we don't serve, uh, what I'm seeing, we don't serve a dead God. We actually, Jesus died that we should have a right now relationship, our own time, real time relationship with the Father. That right. is what was appropriate. That was, was secure for us at Calvary. We are now Ooh. one with the Father in accordance with the work that Jesus did at the cross. Come on, So faith, faith is actually hearing what God is saying. He said faith coming by hearing and hearing come. now faith. What is he saying right now? And what is he saying to you? Right. And, and I think this is what, what's actually happening uh, individually. We, we have satellites that broadcast the signal and everybody on GPS can take advantage of the signal. We don't see the signal. Yeah. We don't even hear the uh -huh. signal, but and GPS to get somewhere, we are actually taking advantage of it. We have right. God who so far supersedes GPS and satellite signals. It is ridiculous. 
to think that the Lord cannot speak to us is to say that we cannot really get a channel from the TV set. Come on, come on. For God, that, that's caveman. -ish, but, you know, that's really, you know, that's not really high tech. God yes, is sir. speaking to the people even now. What we have yes, had sir. an issue with is listening to him. Yes, my sir. Hear my voice and another day would not follow. So come now on, he is in a circumstance, in a situation where it is mandated that we listen to his voice. Come on. You know what's really funny about it is the first deaths that were recorded in Albany were in the church. They originated in church, and one of the first people to die was a preacher. Uh -huh. It is also kind of odd that us being in each other's face right now might kill us. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it's more important for us to separate from each other and get out of each other's face and get in the face of God. Amen. And Amen. I think that is, that is what he, that is what this whole move is about. If he's going to take us to that, that 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 spiritual plane that he has already ordained thousands of years ago, <laughs> if we're going to get there, we have to understand the method. And the yes, method sir. is getting each other's face or getting each other's path, but to get in his. We are yes. so blessed to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the Father Himself. Uh -huh. and, and I must go back to when we when we marched. There was one guy calling cadence, and all of us moved in the same direction. Not because we on. had a call, not because Come we on. had a conversation, not because Come we on. checked each other. We followed the voice of one man, and we <laughs> all moved in the same direction. So I believe yes. that God is now conditioning us in this situation to do the same. We just need to listen to Him and do what He tells us to do. Yes, sir. And, 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 I can't front a devil that he sent me to fight. You know what I'm saying? He ain't telling me to run in the burning house. I don't think I'm going to make it out. If you don't tell me to go into the fire furnace, I don't think I should go. I should yeah. turn and go in the direction. And I think that we have to get accustomed to that because what he's saying in the scripture was, if my people would you call by my name, will humble themselves and pray and see yes, my faith and turn from their wicked ways. Well, what's wicked? Anything that I come up with is going to be wicked because there ain't nothing good for God. If I look at Amen. this, I'm going to church. I ain't going to stop me from praising my God. I'm going. Well, wait a minute. Did God tell you to go to church? Did God tell you to go to that building? Did God tell you to go to that building? Hey, I just thought I, about something, Chris. Check this out. I just thought about that. Brother Addison and Brother Jackson, it's, it's not the four <laughs> walls. It's that right now the body of Christ is positioned, now Chris, their Preach. position to respond to Preach. where the attack occurs throughout the world. Yeah. Come on. If, if, Come on. If, if the attack is in your house, body of Christ. He said, this is, he lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. It's body recover. of Christ. Go ahead and lay hands on that person while they're going through a situation. Go ahead and call the ambulance. Go ahead and pray for them while they're going into it. But the ambulance is picking them up. Go ahead. I'm saying go out and do. Go out and, and that's what you see what I'm saying, Chris. We're positioned. We are, right we, are, we are positioned to hear the voice of God. We are positioned to act in accordance with his will. Feedback from you. Amen. Look at that. I can feel it. I can feel it, Chris. I don't hear all that feedback right now. <laughs> That, that might have been me. Yes, all right, but so when you ain't talking, you just put on mute. We're good to go. Uh, but but yeah, Chris, it's position. You see, what I'm saying not the four walls, guys. It's 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 from your you and your foxholes. Hey, Chris, it's the foxholes as a whole. <laughs> and and when the enemy, the enemy comes, it's in your neighborhood. It's in your house, brother. <laughs> Amen. You can pray. Now's the time for the church to rise and shine. Pray. Amen. If the avalanche shows up in your neighborhood, if you want to, if you want to go somewhere, go, go to the, go to the avalanche and pray for that person that's sick. If that's what you, if led you, Chris, if you led, go pray for that person. But if not pray for the person in your house. Pray to the body of Christ. Your home is what yeah. I'm to So yeah, I, I understand, Brother Jackson. So I want to go to a church service, and and and, and 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 and. But the whole purpose is the church service 
the church is supposed to equip the saints. Am I wrong? Isn't that what the fivefold ministry gift is? To equip the saints to do mm -hmm. the work of the ministry? Amen. Well, now the work has, look, the work, the work is now. <laughs> hey, Chris, mm -hmm. hey, the work, the work is now. See, this, this, I don't know if y'all guys hit this yet, but like you said, me looking at it, I'm thinking all these churches that want to go out and define what the rules are and pack their churches and all that, I feel that those churches, like I say, original intent is, you know, maybe they're going, you know, my faith is stronger than this virus and, you know, we going to get through this and all that. But like, but after, or oh, I'll say, examine or sit back and look at the preacher or whoever's trying to get these people to come to church, it gets into an ego thing now. I can control my people to send yeah, them to church. And, and and like I said, this we we gonna show them that we did, but it really it really isn't about that because the Lord put Lord put common sense in you. If yeah. something tells you don't touch the fire, and the preacher tells you to touch the fire, if you touch the fire, who did you listen to? You listen to common sense of the Lord, or right. you listening to that preacher? Yeah. Just like them folks that walk around with the rattlesnakes, you know, preaching and yeah. yelling and holding the rattlesnakes. The yeah. Lord didn't say put up a some, pick up a rattlesnake. Matter of fact, if you pick up, look at Adam and Eve. That's the last thing you need to touch or listen to is a snake. So on, why man. are you doing it? Because yeah. somebody else is motivating you. Yeah. So yeah. Now, to me, this this to me, I look at this. This is part of revealing the false prophets to me. That's the way I'm looking at this. Well, you know, my man, you know and, and <laughs> what, is the, what is the purpose of going to the four walls anyway? To be perfected. That's what I thought, Elder. I mean, what's the purpose of going to the church building, Elder? It's the reason what, for going what, to what the church. The, what is the purpose of going to church? The purpose of going to church is actually to edify one another, strengthen one another. To do uh, what? To do the work of the, the, the do the work of the, the of the for the spirit of the, of the Lord to do the work of Jesus Christ. So, 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 are we finding ourselves that look, Chris, the battle is all around us? The enemy is, uh, has already broken through the line, and <laughs> they're, all, they're trying to overrun. Are you ready for this one? This is what this is. This is the, this is a big one. Avengers assemble. It's time for us all to go out and, and take the battle to them. That's Come on, it. Now. It's not yeah, we're all in. Where you go, right? It's not about going into the wall. What are you coming to the wall? What are you coming to the church assembly for? It's exactly. To go out and do a battle. The battle. Look, am I wrong? Is there not a battle out here? I think there, yeah. there's a there's a, there's a corporate. The Roman priest is probably in the church. Where is that feedback coming from? <laughs> I don't know. The corporate praise, corporate prayer, actually the fellowship of the saints and developing the relationship with them in accordance with the scripture. It said they shall know that you are mine by the love that you have for the brethren. Right. So we do say love by taking care of each other. It's a family. It really is a family. And we do have that kind of family relationship. But that relationship had to be built on the communication. Of life. And I think what we have built it on is the communication with each other. And we are yeah. bound one to another more so bind ourselves to the Lord. And I think yeah. that's why second Corinth second Chronicles seven fourteen is so appropriate. Because you can if you turn from if you seek my face and turn from your wicked ways. I'm not talking to people that are that not saved. He's talking to people who are probably saying, well, you know we need to get to church on Sunday and go over there to the hospital. But did God tell you that? And the other thing that I, I think we have to give each other is the leeway to be, let the Holy Ghost speak to us individually. And you know what I'm saying? And he may be telling me to go to the hospital, but if he's not telling you to go, you need to stay home. And, and right. I need to tell you that. But so we don't do that. Like that said that it's an equal thing. It becomes an equal thing. I got this much power and influence over my people. Now, nah, ain't about that. Hey, look, hey, look, my point, my point is saying, though, is that if the battle, the fight is out there now, it's in your home, 
It's in your neighborhood. It's in your city. It's in oh, your state. Yeah. It's in your country. <laughs> Amen. It's not now time to to huddle. It's time to do. I got a it's, question it's, for you. Don't, you don't need to bring all those. Why are you bring all those people in when the battle is going on? This is a battle. This, matter of fact, y'all, let me let me jump in. It's just like going back to David and Goliath, as we saw last week. I mean, a couple of weeks ago, David and Goliath. You remember that the children of Israel. Elder, the children of Israel, for 40 days, for 40 days, they, they, they heard, they heard Goliath talk smack. 40 days. When David showed up and David heard, just like everybody else was hearing, David started saying, wait a minute, who is this uncircumcised person? Who is this uncircumcised virus that's coming against the body of Christ? Body of Christ, what are you going to do now? Is it not a call? <laughs> it, is, it is it's not about going to the church building now, Chris. The battle is already. The enemy is, is standing in front of us. Now it's time to do battle. And the huddle's over with now. How about later? How about you got to be a ray and you got to press because the enemy is pressing. And I'm saying you press and you fight so the weapons is given to you. You have prayer. That's a power in the prayer. It's a power to pray for one another. It's a power to pray for the people in your home because the body of Christ is at the home where the people are talking. Huh? That's all I'm trying to say. Thanks, anybody listen to this video, I'm telling you, listen, the battle is now. It ain't about coming together and fellowship. What do you want? Fellowship? What? Why do you fellowship? Why do you come together? You come together to equip your saints to do the work. Chris, the work is now. It's just like everything we did in the military. We train, we train, right? We get in there, we go to the class sessions. <laughs> Right. Yes, sir. We do, we do, do we do a little rehearsals in the battle? But when, but when it's time to go to war, we equip, put our bullets, we put our camouflage, we move out, and we go to a nap. You want to call the church an assembly area? Well, we go to the assembly area, but we don't stay in the assembly area. There, there's no question about it that when we assemble, we, when we, we, what happened, Chris? We move out. Yes, sir. It's time to go to battle. That's what I'm trying to say. And you can come on. It's time to come together now. It's time to fight. Yeah, but see, like you said, now, if we go on with this analogy, like you said, if you run into the church now, I hate to break it to you, it's a little too late. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> That's the truth. And did y'all catch that, bro? Because yeah, they say, hey, hey, if you if you ain't got if you ain't got your faith, you ain't if you ain't got your armor on, you ain't got it on now. It's too late. Oh. I got, you know, it's it, it possible to it, it be a, prep, a preparation time for it as well. You know, when I see it, I know that we we were supposed to be doing that work in the house, in the assembly, but we. In the assembly, we still taught people to listen to each other, to listen to, you know, whoever the leadership was. We should not quit. Because we were teaching people to listen to God. And so it appears as though we literally have been separated from the assembly that we might strengthen ourselves in Christ. In vision, we will be coming back together. And I think out of this thing that we're having right now, we'll become a true revival. Because it's not going to be a revival by Tiki Jake. Or a revival started by Copeland, or a revival started by Dollar, or any of us, not me, not any other preacher that I know. But it's going to be a revival started by God Himself. He has to be the one moving in the in order for this thing to come to that. And we actually are, we are, it's almost like the battle is being staged. When they got ready to come out of Egypt, and this is like foreshadowing, they got ready to come out of Egypt. The last thing that they did was individually get us separate into the house. 
But they were preparing. Mute your mic, Brother Addison. They, they were sorry. Preparing. They were preparing. You can mute it when you ain't talking, anyway. Yeah, that's my mind. My 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 stuff's legit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but, but go back where Elder was talking about. Does it make sense, y'all? This hey Chris, this is what kind of reminds me of if we keep going back to the assembly areas, that means we don't know how to shoot the rifle, we don't know how to we don't know how to maintain the rifle, we don't know how to put the gas mask on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sweet hey. Addison, Addison, you remember even the Air Force, y'all had to train to put on your gas mask, right? Mm -hmm. you, you had to train to shoot your weapon. You had to qualify on your weapon. <laughs> Have we been, Chris, maybe we haven't been trying to train the Saints to do the work in the first place. And That's now, what I was oh! getting ready to say. That's exactly what I'm getting ready to say. I'm getting ready to say, hey, if you're running in there now, like I said, you don't have faith in yourself. You got to go to where that preacher is because you don't have your, hey, your little measure of faith, your mustard seed ain't even big enough. Oh, man. Come on. You don't know how to, look, your mustard seed like a bullet. You don't know how to load it. You don't know how exactly. to put it in the table. And you mm -hmm. don't even know how to it. Yes, sir. You have been qualified. <laughs> well, we, we, we don't worry about the criticizing now. We're trying to say is that the, the, the battle is, is, is on now. The whole purpose well, going to, the whole purpose going to the church is to equip the saints to do the work of the ministry. The work is coming yeah. to you now. So if you yeah. sit there, keep running back. If you run it back now to try to figure out how to get qualified for your weapon, if you run it back in there and try to figure out how to put on your gas mask, if you run back there trying to figure out how to put on the your uniform, you you that building, that church has failed because it didn't do its job. The job is now to equip you to do the work. If you haven't been doing it now, why am I gonna go back to you now, Chris? Yes, yes, sir. You see, here's go ahead. See, here, here's what what I think this this is going to, and y'all y'all know me and how I start thinking about stuff. This is the setup for the paradigm shift. Everybody going to if this is business, church. Girl, you name it. After this scare right here, everything is getting ready to change. Everybody finna reevaluate everything they doing right now, to include the church. Like you said, do we run back, you know, like all these folks that running back to the church, you know, because the preacher said this, because the preacher said that, because the president said this, because the president said that. Your faith, belief in people, and man is being tested right now. And you ain't got but one certainty to worry about. And you need, yo, you need to check it. Your faith is the only thing you can rely on right now because people talking to you from the left, people talking to you from the right, they coming from the top, they coming from the bottom. You do not know who or what to believe right now. If you ain't got faith in something, you are spinning, you are running back to the church. This is the time for you to get yourself right. It's time for us to listen to God. It's just time to learn to listen to God. And, and, and we're in a position where we're being forced to, actually. And I, and I think that's the great thing that has happened to us. And God knows, I don't know how long. Because you're right, exactly. the, church the church didn't do the job. The well, church didn't do what you were supposed to. You didn't prepare the saints for it. And so God is making decisions on for himself. Exactly. In other words, he's going to push you out. You know, but even when you remember when the, when the church first started, remember that Saul was one of the people that called the church to scatter, to go, right? <laughs> because now this situation is calling the church, Chris, to go ahead and prep, preposition yourself, which it has done, now to go fight this battle. The, the training is over with. The battle has begun. When this, when you, like you said, though, when this, when this, this particular battle is over with. You're right. It's going to be a shift now to say, look, we got to equip our saints to be ready to do the work of the ministry when the time comes. Because that's where the battle, that's what we, you know, elder, they used, to, they used to have, they want deacons and they want the minister to go visit the people in the hospital. The Bible said each believer is supposed to be able to go. Huh? 
you 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 come to you come to the church if you want the elders to lay hands on you, but you that's that's a body that's a member in the body of Christ, but that member is the one that's supposed to be able to lay hands. It's not what the signs are. These are the signs you follow those that believe. It didn't say these are the signs that follow those who have a minister's license. Amen. Chris. It did not. So we got to understand. We got to equip the saints to go do the work. They just spread upon the surface. Huh? That, all the signs that follow is for a believer. Now it's time for the believer because a battle is right in front of you. And like you said, Chris, in the future, the church can realize, hey, we got to equip y'all. This ain't playing church no more. This ain't sitting there. You don't come, you don't come to the service to just fellowship with us. You come to get equipped by us to do the work. Amen, man. Amen. Elder, uh, can you read uh, Romans 8? It's uh, verse 18 to 22. I got uh, Romans 18 to 22. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Come on now. Do you get that, Chris? This present suffering. This suffering. <laughs> Go ahead, Chris. Go ahead, Elder. For the honest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. Chris, that's time about now. Move out, soldiers. Move out, saints. The battle is here. The world is waiting for you to step up. The world in yeah. Ashes saying, what? He said, where's the, where the church? Because we don't see what the, these uh, these miracles that's going on in the Bible, biblical days, where they happen. Well, look, church, go out, do the work. Let people see it because they're looking for it. Go ahead, Elder. Well, the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but oh. by reason of him who has subjected the same in hope. Uh -huh. Because the creature itself also seemed to be a chill, the creature itself shall also be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Woo! For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. And this is what's happening. Praise God. Hey, it's time for the church. That's what Amen. they're waiting for. It's Amen. time for us to rise and shine. It's time for us to be like David. David said, is this not a cause? <laughs> is this not a cause right now? This is a cause right now. There's a virus trying to kill 100,000 people. There's a virus trying to kill 200,000 people. There's a virus trying to kill a million people. Church, it ain't time to huddle. It's time to go. It's time to pray. It's time to go ahead. If you want to lay hands, lay hands on the people that you love right now. Pray for the saints. Pray for the non-believers. Let the non-believers say, Chris, how do you, you're going to pray. For, you know, I got it. You're going to come. You're going to touch your hand. You're going to put your hands on me. If you're my child, I'm going to put my hands on you. <laughs> I'm going to pray for you right now because you're my child. If that's your, that's your loved one that's going through this right now, pray. You know, I am running from you. I am not going to run from this situation. I am going to stand in the gap with you as you're going through this situation. I'm not going to run for Elder Johnson to come pray for you. I'm not, I'm not looking for somebody else to come pray for you. I'm not looking for a licensed minister to come pray for you. I am your believer. <laughs> I am the church, and I'm going to pray for you Amen. now. Amen? That's Amen. what the whole world, that's what the said, the whole world is waiting, Chris. The whole world is waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God. Amen. Amen. Amen.